Hi everyone and welcome to November 3rd's live update. Well, it is a special day for a lot of reasons. Uh, in the United States, they are voting for their next president. If you're from the United States, I hope you're out there voting. And uh, for us in Canada, it's the equivalent of watching your neighbor's house, which has had a for sale sign on it for a little while, finally get its mover, uh, the movers backing up their truck and the, you're looking out the window to see who are the new, who are the new people living next door? What are the new neighbors gonna look like? Um, so we'll be uh, watching with bated breath. But that said, it's a much more special day. Uh, Abby, can you pause it for a sec? Okay, I'm gonna bring over a special guest. Come on. <laughs> she's giving me, she's not even a teenager yet, but she's, uh, she's 11 teen years old today. So <laughs> she's a not quite teenager. This is my daughter, Abigail. So Abigail, it is your birthday today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And am I interrupting your video game time right now? She is playing uh, Mario Kart <laughs> and uh, I think having fun. But did you have a pretty good birthday so far? Yeah. yeah. Okay, she's being super shy. <laughs> yeah, so it's my, it's my little honey. It's her birthday today. Okay, skedaddle, you can go play. Happy birthday, honey. Anyway, so it's my daughter's birthday today and that makes it the most special day in the whole world for me and for my little girl. So um, <laughs> she's, she's gonna continue playing her game. That's what's happening right now. There's some video game playing happening. Uh, and I, on the other hand, am going to do a little check-in on the comic book sale. So if you guys remember seeing a little while back, we had a whole pile of comics that I went and picked up in Abigail and her brothers and Melissa, um, my wife, you know, her, <laughs> she's not with me right now on the live feed, but uh, her, you know, the wife. Uh, we all offloaded this giant trailer full of comic books and it was so much stuff that I had to make a decision. Am I gonna be a comic book store from now on or am I gonna auction this off and hopefully do <laughs> some good work? And I can see Melissa in the comments saying, I'm here, the wife, LOL. <laughs> uh, yeah, which means I'm probably in trouble later on, but that's okay. I usually end up in the doghouse anyway. But our dog is super small, so it's really awkward getting in there. He's a Yorkie, he's like this big. So when I get sent to the doghouse, it's equally bad for me and the dog. Um, so today's the day. We are going to do uh, a bit of an update. We're gonna check in on the auction, which is live and online right now, and see how things are shaping up. So while Abigail, who uh, is doing that right now, <laughs> playing Mario Kart, um, we are, uh, let's see. Okay, uh, somebody said it's the most important election in American history and you run an auction. The auction isn't, uh, the auction is starting today. And this is a segue, this is a, um, uh, this is the the auction results have a long way to go before um, before anything's decided. So we're going to take 20 minutes out of your day, and I know it's a special day, and I know it's an important day for many people. Um, but I'm honestly just trying to offer a little something different to watch on this day. So here we go. Uh, we are going to just flip this around, and thank you. <laughs> people are saying glad for the distractions. So I promised that I would do uh, sort of an update to see what's going down. And here we go. And yes, we are in Canada, uh, but we still do watch the US elections here in Canada because uh, we're curious to see who our next door neighbors are gonna be. Um, it's kind of uh, an interesting day for us too. So we'll be, we'll be looking over there and uh, see what's going on. Plus, I guess I, I should probably say, my family was American longer than they were Canadian. We, we were in the United States from the late 1700s up until 1920 or so. So I have, our family has really deep roots in the United States. Um, so I do, I do take a special interest and we have um, lots of uh, family that are still down there, including my sister Heather, who's in Colorado, wishing her well today too. And uh, to all of our friends and our family who are in the United States, we wish you nothing but the best um, on today, your very special day. So we're gonna switch this back around. We're not gonna talk elections too much right now because um, I don't want the conversation to get derailed at all. Um, but we are going to talk about comic books and what's more, what's more American than talking about cowboys? Or if you're Ukrainian and a cowboy, it's cowboys. <laughs> uh, like I might be partly cowboy, I guess. Which is funny, my, uh, my dad, my dad gave me the middle name of Dustin because he thought that was a cowboy name, like I'd be Dusty. And then I found out I'm allergic to horses, so that didn't go over so well. So not much of a cowboy, uh, not much of a cowboy heritage for me, but uh, that's okay. We're gonna flip this around now. So yippee a kaye! Oh, I guess they said yippee kaye. And I can't help but think of uh, Bruce Willis saying that, and he's got a little more colorful version of that. But this is at Comic Connect. Ba -ba -ba -bom. Where is it? Is he? Ah, Comic Connect. 
So you just go to comicconnect.com and you log in and you see the auctions that are going on and we've got the cowboy auction happening right now, comicconnect.com. And um, when we go in, they say, okay, well, what are they talking about? Rare, newly found Western comics up for auction. Move over, move over, Superman and Batman. <laughs> Should I, I'm gonna read it like I'm, I'm really meaning it. There are some new heroes in town. I wish I'd be cowboy. Instead of capes, they wear cowboy hats. Instead of superpowers, they have horses and guns. They belong to the comic world's Western genre and they're proof that there's still gold in them thar storage lockers. Um, and then you have like the 50s music. Their discovery reads like a treasure hunter's fantasy. Recently, roughly 10,000 largely Western themed collectibles were unearthed in a Canadian storage unit purchased by a savvy collectibles dealer. Um, I guess that's me, I'm savvy. Look at the picture they put up of me. <laughs> that's my savvy face. Eee, that's a toothy grin right there. Um, their publicist called me and they said, can you send us a picture of you holding up something? And I said, okay. And I sent them that really toothy grin. Well, that's one of those pictures that you kind of regret later in life. But anyway, um, then they say, uh, some of the best known comic series featuring Roy Rogers, Hopalong Cassie, Red Rider, Gene Audrey, Wild Bill Elliott, Lone Ranger, and so forth are coming through this auction. And the guy that owned all this stuff was a real deal um, cowboy. He, he did, did quick draw and stuff. So anyway, uh, what are some of the, the big, well, there, there's lots of number one issues like uh, Roy Rogers, Turok, Son of Stone, um, Gene Autry, number one, and then lots of movie posters too, including full one sheets, Hopalong Cassidy, and then we've got all these different sort of um, uh, posters. The, these are lobby cards. These are smaller ones that would have been promotional like out in the lobby, and really, really, really cool. Um, so let's, uh, let's see. Let's go click here to view the entire quick draw auction, and it should take us over to a link. There we go. So what I noticed that they did, they started off the auction with a lot of movie posters and literally a lot of lots of movie posters. And when you look at the details here, so it says 1940s uh, Western lobby card lot. And these go back to the 40s or so and the artwork on these is just amazing. Uh, but then I look to see how many are there? 90, look, there's 90 lobby cards. So normally in an antique store, these things go for, I don't know, like 10 to $20 each. 90 of them. So that's like $1,000 worth of lobby cards. How much are they going for? A buck. You got a dollar bill in your back pocket, you could own 90 lobby cards. Look, you could just, you could buy my stuff and flip it and retire. I really hope that these bids start to go up because that is awfully, uh, awfully low. You know, but that's not even like a dime a piece. I thought you have a penny a piece. Like, what is going on? Anyway, um, fractions on the dollar right there. But they've got all these lots of movie poster lobby cards. I didn't know they're gonna be putting them in such big lots. Um, you know, there's like 140. Look, they're a, a dollar a piece. That's insane. Look, 141. This lot is for 141 lobby cards. And, you know, there's Johnny Mac Brown, uh, Gary Cooper, Monty Hale. These are some big Western names. And you look at the artwork that's on here. Look at, uh, if I can scroll down a bit. There we go, I'll scroll up a little. Look at the artwork on there. Just buy them to frame and put on display in your movie room or something. Anyway, a buck. So I'm really hoping that that stuff uh, starts to go in a different direction because I'm going to be crying myself to sleep on my fluffy pillow at night if I uh, if I made a, uh, a mistake by, by putting it. But there's a lot of time left. But that means there's lots of deals. There's lots of bargains to be had. Look, everything's just a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. And these, look, nobody's even bid yet. There's no bids. There's giant lots of movie posters and there's no bids yet. Okay. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to sort um, by, uh, let's see, let's go item type comics. Let's just see in general how the comics are trying to do. So we're gonna go to the comics. Um, there's these old uh, Western books and annuals and things like that. Look, a dollar. Oh, there's one that's more than a dollar, it's three dollars. There's somebody who wanted the Laramie edition really bad. But look, most of the stuff is just a dollar. A dollar, a dollar, a dollar. That's a dollar per lot. Like that's, that's crazy. Even when I do the auctions with Castor, they start things at like $10. 
these guys, I guess, are really hoping that people are encouraged to bid because they started everything at a dollar. But with thousands of items up for sale and thousands of items up for grabs, um, starting at a dollar a piece, you might get some really, really great deals in here. So uh, there is a way to sort this and there is a way to see how things are going. So we're gonna sort by price highest first. So let's see, what, what are people bidding on? Hopefully more than three bucks. Okay, so we're seeing a little bit more action here in this area. John Wayne, number one. And it's graded a 6.5, that's a decent comic. That comic um, in that condition I think is worth about a thousand bucks. $269 right now. So that's still a pretty good deal. Turok, Son of Stone, graded at an eight. That's a pretty high grade for that. Uh, 190 bucks, again, that should be about a thousand dollar comic. Um, so we are seeing a few comics over the hundred dollar mark, but all in all, it kind of drops off a cliff very sharply here and drops down to getting, you know, lots of comics for 40 bucks. So, um, some of these are like, look, there's Captain Marvel. There are some, uh, there's Flash Gordon in here somewhere too. Uh, but let's see, like this Tim Holt lot, 40 bucks for a whole stack of Tim Holt comics. And that's Ghost Rider appears in, uh, like straw man versus red mask. There's some uh, cool sort of like, I don't wanna say sci-fi, but you know, they have Ghost Rider makes appearances in Tim Holt and stuff. So this is a neat series. Tim Holt is a neat series. There's eight comics all together. They say that it's worth at least a couple hundred bucks and right now it's a $40. So uh, there are definitely some really good bargains out there right now to be had. Um, I was surprised, like there's a lot, there, look, there's Lone Ranger number one. Or no, that's one of the very first Lone Rangers. I shouldn't say that's Lone Ranger number one. But look, it's graded really high. It's an 8.5. It's got, you know, really great color, really neat book, 26 bucks. And it's been professionally graded. It's uh, CGC graded. Now, some of these have actually been uh, graded by CGC. So there are an awful lot of things in here. What I was uh, hoping to see, and maybe I can search up here for it. I'm just gonna go up to the, uh, the top of the screen. Uh, there's a search bar up at the top. Oops, as I bump my camera and make everybody all stomach sick from me moving stuff around. Okay. All right, so I put through, there we go. We'll get this back down again. Some Tarzan, some really special Tarzan books. Tarzan number one, the very first Tarzan comic. 20 bucks. Can you believe that? Only 20 bucks for Tarzan number one. Now, granted, it's got a little bit of soft, it's got a bit of a soft corner up there, but that's the first Tarzan. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Um, so, uh, back cover has a pinup on it. Um, let's see, and they, they talk about it a little bit. This is uh, definitely a land, they say it's a landmark key issue. First Tarzan comic. Of course, it became a really big movie series. Uh, as well, so there's Tarzan number two. This funny, Vincent, who owns the auction house, said, uh, hey, Alex, that guy looks like you, because he said he had my hair. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, yeah, I guess so. And then I got a haircut, so I don't have the floopy sides anymore, but anyway. So that was a nice book, though. This one's in really good condition. Again, only 16 bucks. So um, a lot of people are saying, uh, a lot of people only bid uh, at the last minute, so, I know that that's the case, but still, look at how many comics are just a dollar for bundles of like, you know, these are what they call like a painted cover. And I have a lot of people who collect painted cover comics. And a painted cover is, it's you've got artwork happening on it. It's not a photo. Later they went to photo covers and, um, and they are still collectible, but the painted graphics like this are what people are really after. Here's a beautiful lot of 10 comics. They say it's valued around 300 bucks. Look. It's only bid at a dollar right now. <laughs> so am I sweating it a little bit? Maybe, um, kind of, I guess I am, yeah. So we have uh, certainly a long way to go to get, uh, to get where we need to go here. So I'm just gonna go back in. We're gonna filter this again. We're gonna sort by uh, item category. Let's see if I can do that here, we'll sort. Oops, but look at all the posters. And there's quite a number of pages of comics and stuff. They actually had some really neat comics. Like these are the guys that would sell, if you have the first Superman or first Spider-Man, like this is a company that sells that kind of stuff. So they are definitely the, the type of place that deals with high-end comics and collections. And I guarantee that, 
you know, a lot of the stuff that's sitting at a dollar isn't probably gonna stay at a dollar, but some of it might. I took so much stuff in there that there's a really good chance that some of these really like these early Tarzan movie posters and stuff like this. Look at the look at this early early Tarzan stuff. Beautiful little set, and that's probably the whole set of them. A lot of these were complete sets. A buck, just a dollar. 1953. Uh, oh, it's an incomplete set. There's five. There's usually a little bit more than that, but still, really really crazy to think that there's you know all that stuff is going for that price. So. Anyway, I guess we'll we'll wait and see how things go. Uh, let's see, highest first. Okay, so this is this is some of the stuff they have on their site. This is, these aren't mine, but look, they have um, you know Wolverine and stuff. And look, people are bidding like eight thousand bucks a comic on some of this. Why can't I have found some of that stuff? That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> That'd be pretty awesome to find some of that. Um, let's go back into our auction here and see. So the quick draw auction. And I have to say, a lot of the um, a lot of the artwork that's on these early comics is really, really cool. And I think more than anything, you could buy something like this and just frame it and put it up. So anyway, there's the first appearance I think of Ghost Rider right there. That's why this one has a little bit more interest. It's a hundred bucks. And there it is. And you can, I think, there we go. I'll just scroll a little bit if I can scroll. There it is. So cool graphics. Right? Oh, look, they're going to brand him. Well, you better get there quick, Ghost Rider. What's he going to do? He's a ghost. He's going to go right through them. But maybe they're like, whoa, ghost. I don't know. Maybe he's going to move out of the way and the branding iron's going to hit the rope and then he's going to escape. Either way, that guy's going to need a new shirt because something happened to it. I don't know how he ripped his shirt like that as he like, got peeled like a banana and his shirt's all draped down. But anyway, Ghost Rider's like having none of it. Look, he's, he's come in on his horse and he's like, no, that was cotton poly blend. You shouldn't rip a shirt like that. That's quality. <laughs> I don't think Ghost Rider sounds like that. But if, he, if I was Ghost Rider, that's how he'd sound. And that's one of the reasons why I've never been cast as Ghost Rider in a movie. <laughs> Hi, I'm playing the role of Ghost Rider. <laughs> I, I sound like a concierge at a fancy hotel. Yes, we'll have the hot towel set right up to your suite, sir. Ghost Rider will bring them promptly. <laughs> Captain Marvel Jr., Tim Holt, the, you know, there's all kinds of fun stuff. Anyway, so it's just a waiting game now to see how it goes. Um, oh, is there sci-fi? Yeah, hang on. Uh, is there sci-fi? Check this out, whoever asked. This is a nice little lot of Tom, Tom Corbett, space cadet, dead, dead, dead. Look at him. He's Tom Corbett, and he's in space, and he's doing stuff. It looks like he's saving a tiny little man, but he's not. That guy's just behind him. But look, this whole lot of Tom Corbett. There's 11 four-color Tom Corbett books, 36 bucks. And they say the condition on them is, uh, what do they say? Do they say what the condition is? Oh, 6.5 plus. So that's fine. That, that They're in good shape. So nice little collection of them. Really, really neat stuff. Yeah, there is, there, there's some Flash Gordon. There is some uh, Marvel and some other things in there too. Um, so there's a lot to look at. So I encourage you guys to go on and check it out. Oh, the grading system is on a scale of one to 10. So if it's 10, it's like perfect. Um, and then they kind of go down based on if there's little creases or crinkles or things. And they're really fussy. Like you could have a, a comic book that looks perfect. Like this uh, Turok Son of Stone book. When you look at it up close, you can't see a darn thing wrong with it. But when the professionals look at it, they say stuff like, um, you know, maybe one of the pages has a little bit of yellowing or something, and so they drop the uh, they drop the price down a bit, or they drop the grading down a bit. That said, that's a pretty high grade comic, and that should sell for around a thousand dollars or so. But we have a long way to go before we're going to get there. So anyway, that's kind of how things are going. I guess overall, I feel a little bit like vomiting in my mouth a bit, <laughs> you know, and then just kind of taking it back in because you're not seeing the bids coming in fast and heavy right off the bat. There's so many items that are there for just a dollar each and nothing is, well, there's a lot of things that aren't getting bid on yet. And I know that a lot of my bidders who are probably uh, in the United States are maybe preoccupied, uh, preoccupied a bit right now over the next couple of days with voting and watching the voting and so forth. But that's why we've got another, what, 13 or 14 days left of this, uh, <laughs> of this auction. Heidi says, gross, I'm eating over here. Heidi, it's okay. I didn't, I didn't actually let, I didn't barf out. I, I held it back and then I took it back down again uh, because it, I'm sure it's going to be fine. This is like the sweating it a little bit before the auction ends to see how it goes. 
But um, the reason we want to do the sale now is that it's kind of in time for Christmas. I, I'm doing two auctions, one this comic book sale and then there's another one happening where we're going to be selling off a whole bunch of stuff from our store and a lot of things you probably saw me buy over the last year or so. So another big antique sale coming up and that auction is going to be at Castner's. So either way, we're trying to get this stuff out there just before Christmas time uh, to make sure everything is all good. So. Uh, Colleen says, you better calm down. Colleen, I'm, this is your voice, Colleen. You better calm down. You ain't gonna last those two weeks. Well, Colleen, I am gonna calm down. I'm gonna take it easy. No, I'm kind of sweating a little bit. I am. If I'm, if I'm honest, <laughs> oh, I set them all off. You know, and that's the thing. I, buy, I can't buy them back. You're not allowed to buy your stuff back. That's not how that works. That's called shill bidding. Uh, that's that's um, frowned upon. When you put something in, at an auction, you have to be okay with it going for whatever it goes for. Um, a buyer's premium, somebody's asking, can you explain the buyer's premium? A buyer's premium is um, like this. So let's say you get 190 of those posters for a dollar, they're gonna charge you 15 cents as a buyer's premium, it's sort of like a service fee for them handling the sale. Basically, the auction house wouldn't take on these sorts of things if their staff didn't get paid, if the people who took the pictures didn't get paid, uh, if the guy who ships the stuff out doesn't get paid. So they charge that 15% back so that they can get um, um, a little bit of money back out of it. Um, so it helps out a little bit too. So um, I'll try and I guess maybe I'll take a couple minutes to answer some questions then I'll let you guys get back to your night because I know you've all got a lot going on right now. Um, uh, let's see, Designer Window Fashion says, if you did a short video highlighting the auction link navigation, I would share on my Facebook page. Um, I did a little bit of that on my last video, Designer Window Fashions. Is that a family name? I haven't heard that before. Uh, Designer Window Fashions. Um, you can look at my last video and uh, I do kind of uh, walk through the navigation a little bit, but it, uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just sign up for an account and then you just log in and bid. So if I wanted to bid right now, you just go in and you, you click the bid. I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. Once you're in there, you just click right here. See, it says 190 bucks. It says uh, the next bid, I think, oh, there's no reserve, so you could bid whatever. Like you put like $250 in and then you go place bid. I'm not gonna do it though, because this is my stuff and that's not cool to bid on your own stuff because you know, it's not fair. So anyway, that's all you do right there. You just basically bid right in this little spot there after you're signed in. So the sign in page is pretty easy. Do, 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 it's right there. Um, there's sign in and then there's register. So if you've never been on the site before, you just click register and you give them your name, you make a little password and then uh, you say, I am not a robot, but you probably don't say it in a robot voice. You click that and then he registers. Easy peasy, pumpkin breezy. I say that because it was almost Halloween just a little bit ago. Um, so this is it. This is part of my winter game plan of auctioning stuff off. Hopefully uh, we're gonna do well with the sale. It is an absolute nail biter. That's why I was doing this in the picture for the video because I have no idea what's gonna happen yet. But we will check in again. Um, if things start to move and things start getting exciting, I'll do another check-in and we'll watch. And when the auction is about to end, we'll do another check-in then and we'll watch the stuff ending. And uh, hopefully we'll have some nice surprises. Uh, Deb Brown, I hope you're right. She says it's gonna be fine, we'll see. Um, Nancy says, what did Abigail want for her birthday gift? My daughter, Abigail, didn't ask for anything in particular. She, uh, I said, what do you want, honey? She went, I don't know. Cause she's like, you know, a little bit of an attitude teenager. Okay, no. <laughs> and she said, I don't know. And so anyway, I, I took her shopping for clothes and I think she, she's wearing her shirt, one of them that we picked out. So I got, we got her some new clothes and then she got, she's a chocoholic. My daughter has a problem. She, it's true. Yeah. We're gonna have to take you Chocoholics Anonymous. She is a chocolate fiend. She is all about the chocolate. So she got chocolate from most of our family members. And I think uh, a lot of our family gave her um, card. You know when you get a, used to get a birthday card and there was money inside? Like you open it up and it kind of flutters out. And you know you've aged out of birthday cards when you're like 18 or something, you open up the card expecting like some money to fall out and then up, nothing. <laughs> anyway, she got some money in her birthday cards because she's still cute and little. Um, so she's gonna be saving up her money for who knows what, whatever that little girl desires, she's gonna save her money up for. Last time it was for a skateboard. Heck, I don't know what she's gonna be looking for now, but she's gonna, she's saving her money and when the right thing comes along, she'll be prepared. Uh, but yes, my daughter is interested in clothing and chocolate. That is the two things. <laughs> so, um, and uh, we are gonna enjoy the rest of the night, play some games with her, 
and uh, basically enjoy the rest of my daughter's birthday. So thank you so much for watching tonight, guys. I hope everybody out there has a wonderful evening. Um, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and uh, tune in again as I give you an update on what the heck is happening around here and what's going on with all these sales. So we will see you guys soon. Oh, uh, Abigail's 11 today. She's 11. I, I keep teasing her and saying she's 11 teen <laughs> because she acts like she's bigger, but we know that she's not. Um, anyway, oh, it looks up. Hey, uh, Norseman, a person named Norseman Honey gave you $5 for chocolate funds. Yay! So thank you very much. I, will, I have five bucks in my pocket right now, so I'll give her five bucks towards her chocolate fund right now. Rich. And she says she's rich. <laughs> okay, do you want to come say bye before I sign off, honey? Okay. <laughs> there she is, wearing <laughs> one of her new shirts. And why are you randomly carrying a brush around? Because. Because why? Because why? Nothing. <laughs> okay. So anyway, it's this little one's birthday today. Um, we are going to have a good rest of a birthday party. You want to play some more games or watch a movie or something? We're going to do stuff. Oh, we're going to do stuff. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to go off and have fun. Abigail is leading charge tonight until uh, telling us what to do. So you guys have a wonderful evening. We'll see you all soon and uh, have a great night. Bye, guys. <laughs> off she goes. Oh, and I better sign off. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Oh, check out the auction, comicconnect.com. The auction is live right now. If you're watching this live feed right now, it's there. If you like Westerns, you like old comics, you like collectibles or whatever, there's all kinds of cool stuff. Um, subscribe to our channel because there's always something going on. And we are going to let you know exactly how this auction goes. And uh, I'll give you a full tally about how everything went right now. <laughs> but later... It'll be, hopefully, this will be me, like, in a couple weeks, I'll be like this. Yay! But right now, I'm like this. Ugh. So anyway, we'll see. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. We'll talk to you soon, and bye for now. <laughs> bye, guys.